Hi Capricorn, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private session with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any of my artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified for your future readings. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return any evil negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold, and anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So somebody broke an oath. Uh, somebody broke an oath um, in regards to a connection. This could be a family member, a friend, or a romantic partner. I feel like somebody did not trust their intuition. Uh, this is a person that does not know how to balance their light and their dark energy. So they definitely did some things that were unethical. And I feel like they want to mend some things with you at this point. Uh, tell me what's going on with this person. Who is this spirit? Somebody that may have ghosted you or didn't show up or didn't answer the phone or didn't text back. I don't know. Uh, somebody who has flighty energy. I'm seeing the date uh, January, January 15th, January 1st, December 23rd. You had to let go of this situation, uh, dealing with this person in order to grow, in order to evolve. I see you needing to let go of this situation. This person is wanting to hang on to you. They find value in this connection that you have with them. But things are shaky. Um, things are not on a, a, a firm foundation, especially when it comes to honest communication. And I feel like this person uh, kind of sort of puts you in a position to where they want you to question your self-worth. They put you in positions that are not ethical, that are not true, that are not loyal. And they expect you to be okay with going back and forth on the situation or second guessing your intuition or be okay with just staying when you're not getting the appreciation that you truly desire or that you truly deserve. What is it that this person is currently hiding? How are they feeling? What are they thinking? So this person, uh, they could kind of sort of uh, be in a situation where they honestly don't talk much about this connection that they have with you. They want to take things slow, but they want to keep things low key as well. Uh, this person is wanting to make sure that you don't move forward with anyone else. So they want you to truly believe that you are their one and only. But this is somebody who does not express uh, the value of this relationship with others. It could be a secret relationship. They may not bring you around family or friends for some of you guys, whoever I'm channeling for. How does Capricorn feel about this individual spirit? You feel like they don't know your worth, but they're always ready to try to pick up where you guys left off. Even if they're not doing you right, they always feel like they can come back. 
you feel like there's a difference with how you guys operate, how you see things, right? Um, you may feel like this person don't take you out enough or court you enough or show you that they appreciate you enough. You do really care about this person, but you're tired of uh, going through the same situation. You feel like the connection has a lot of chemistry. But it's like this person may not take charge or be confident. Or they cannot just not align with you. And what it is that you're, what you're needing. Maybe a Taurus with the Hierophant energy for some of you. Or there's an issue with this person not being fully committal. They're being non-committal here. Spirit, tell me what else Capricorn needs to know. Angel number 618. Angel number 820. This is going to uh, put a blockage on your path. You got pathway reverse here. So because the situation does not align and this person is also not honoring you for your worth or not showing you the reciprocity that you truly deserve. This will hinder your path. This person is going to try to convince you that you're carrying heavy emotions uh, and they're, that's the reason for their ghosting. But really what it is, is this person has an issue with lust and temptation. Um, and so if they're not with you or close to you, that's a reason for them to not feel as guilty for doing whatever it is that they, they're planning on doing. Um, this is also going to hinder your finances. I do see that. Some of you guys could be the age of 37. Uh, this person is going to be, like I said, for the streets. Um, regardless, you know, uh, they are coming out as an immature man that doesn't have much to offer for you. And then you have a false person energy here. So I would say um, that this is a situation where you definitely cannot expect much from this person. They have to do the work. Um, there's no way around it. This person has to do the work. Or they're going to not only hinder their own growth, but they're hinder, they're going to hinder your growth as well. Um, so it's important that if this is your story, that you do take the time to disconnect from this situation fully. Focus on your, uh, your own well-being at this time. Tell me what else the Capricorn needs to know, Spirit, in regards to this person or this situation. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a situation where somebody's denying an ending and a connection, and it needs to end. Um, I got to be completely transparent with you. Uh, this is causing blockages here. Have faith. Somebody, this car came out sideways. And for me as a reader, this is my faith card. So this means that somebody is, they know it's time to leave or they know it's time to uh, focus on their own individual well-being, but they're denying it. And it's a lack of faith here. Um, have faith in the unknown. You may not know what's on the other side of the door, but trust me, it has to be better than this situation. If I'm getting false person energy, and I'm getting gift and reaver. Everything is telling me that this person is not ready. Okay. Too much of an ego here. Tell me about new love for my Capricorn spirit. What do they need to know a new love? What do they need to know a new love spirit? It may be someone younger than you, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person can be very creative. They may like art, be an artist, whether this is music, whatever the case may be. Um, I also see that um, 
this may worry this person. They may feel like they're not on your level or they may feel like they have a long way to go before they can really truly match your energy. Who is this new person spirit? Who is the new person for Capricorn? Um, somebody, it's important that you don't misjudge this person. They are very, um, they're very uh, emotionally immature. They could need to work on their emotions. Um, so it's like you may have these high expectations for this person, but they, they need some time to grow. I would definitely say just be friends first and see how it goes with this new connection. Yeah, they're non-committal. It could be a tourist for some of you guys. They're sneaky. Um, this person, like I said, they could be younger than you and there's some things that they may have not got to fully explore in life. You know, and they could want to date around or, you know, this person's young. Like, they want to get out and, yeah, it's going to cause confusion. So, you guys may need to just honestly take some time to focus on your, your financial stability and your um, just being single for a while. Like, to be honest, because you, I see the five of coins here. That's disappoint. That's disappointment. Um, you may still be thinking about this past person and you may, you know, meet new people and try to hang out with them and try to not think about the past connection. But it may be important for you to just go in hermit mode, uh, focus on your skills, your crafts, your business, uh, different ideas that you want to launch and really start developing yourself um, individually. what are the messages that you need to share with Capricorn? What is it most important for them to know? So, for some of you guys, um, you got somebody from your past. You could, you may have a family with them or you're just like family to them. Um, you guys may have had a bit blended family or when you were spending time together consistently, you were a part of their family. This person may try to invite you to a family gathering to quote unquote speak truth with you, show you their unconditional love. This person could drive a motorcycle or... A bike or a loud car uh, spirit is saying that they are not to be they're not reliable um, you got the three of swords here um, this is definitely heartbreak energy and then you got the high priestess in reverse uh, so make sure that you're trusting your intuition somebody could invite you to a gathering a get-together a celebration a, somebody's home or something like that um, somebody that you either have a family with but you're not talking to anymore or you guys got history I don't know um, I would not trust it um, I see the temperance in reverse is going to cause a lot of uh, imbalance and it's going to interfere with your healing so a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on your healing and somebody's going to try to reach out to you to invite you to something a family reunion a uh, I don't know a birthday party I don't know something of that sort trust your intuition yeah, too much ego and pride, uh, self-sabotage here. So this person, they might try to speak a truth to you. And you're going to remember something that they told you in the past that don't line up with the truth that they're trying to tell you now. I don't know. It just don't line up. And to cut to the chase, it's really a waste of time. Like, it's really truly a waste of time. With the Three of Swords energy... Uh, this is third party. You cannot trust this person. Heartbreak, manipulating, betrayal, lying, cheating. It's not worth it. It's time to choose you. It's time to choose you. Um, this person's interfering with your peace. 
Don't feel guilty about it. Don't be manipulated. Don't be easily swayed. Be logical about the situation. Don't be hasty. Don't hold a grudge. Be logical. Have courage. Have faith. Spirit, what is your advice for my Capricorns? What is the advice for my Capricorn spirit? Peace. I am a being of love and I refuse or I release all negative energy. Yeah, release all negative energy. Enjoy your peace. Find different things that you enjoy doing. Think for things that you may have not done before, but you always desire to do. Get into those things. Um, get into those studies, you know. Join classes, yoga classes, uh, dance classes, whatever it is that you like to do. Some of you guys, you have a voice. I hear somebody that can sing very well. Maybe you need to, um, you know, make a song. Buy yourself a microphone. Uh, get, get yourself, make your studio at home. Whatever it is that you do. Find other things to do with your time and manifest what it is that you truly deserve. There's no need to settle. Um, there's no need to <clears throat> hold a grudge. All of that stuff is pointless. It's time to step into your power. Um, find your true purpose. Exercise your talents. And in due time, trust um, that you will evolve and manifest what it, what it is that you truly deserve. Somebody has a lot of regret with you. Um, you were very patient with this individual. But you, you know, this person realizes that they can't change the past. And even you guys, <clears throat> don't beat yourself up for things that you went through in the past or situations that you feel that you allowed people to put you through. Know that at that time you made the best decisions that you could. And take this as an opportunity to learn from your spiritual lessons and to grow and to move forward and to evolve. Be patient with yourself on this journey. Accept that things happen in divine order. Um, do not jeopardize your happiness by any means necessary. You know, um, make a decision. Accept the death of this situation. I, I'm here. Accept death of this situation. And find the, uh, the brighter things to take hold to in life. Choose to focus on the lighter side of life. You know. Um, don't overjudge people or situations. Don't do not do that. Um, and don't feel guilty about not surrendering to people's mind games and manipulation. It could be something where they know that you want to go. You know, you're very close to their mom or very close to their grandmother or very close to their child. And they're having a graduation party. They know you don't want to miss it. Right? Uh, make sure that you are using your sense of discernment. People use things to manipulate us all the time. Um, things that they know that we truly desire. You know, um, and, and just keep that in mind when you're dealing with certain individuals with this false person energy. Yeah. You got the fourth chakra, heart chakra, peace. Again, this is about peace. I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others and the world. Peacefulness comes in me giving up the love of power for the power of love. I invite peace to be a part of my life. I make time to experience my own inner stillness daily I continually develop an inner sense of calm and I trust that everything will be right. Feeling good about myself will help bring peace in my life. So if you know you're dealing with people who sabotage connections, they're false, you know, they got you feeling bad about even entertaining a connection with them, it's time to let it go, my loves. All right? Trust in divine time and divine order. Trust in the universe. Trust in a higher power, a higher source. This is about faith, peace, hope, love, divine timing, 
divine intervention, divine wisdom, logic, you know? So take some time in solitude, you know, and do some self-reflecting. I love you guys so very much, and thank you so much for coming to the channel. If this resonates with your life, show some love, angel number 2020. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.